We're going to start with good news, the kind of news that is giving local students in Tampa Bay a new future as they head back to school. And as ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbach tonight shows you, it's all happening inside a brand new school. The AES is due on Friday. Pinellas Technical High School may look like a regular school, but it feels like a job site. I think it's amazing that I get the opportunity to do this. For Abby Clement, it's an opportunity to change lives. I was in the hospital for a while in eighth grade because I suffered from a neurological disorder. Now she's using that experience as motivation. By the time she graduates high school, she'll be a licensed practical nurse, well on her way to becoming a doctor. I want to help people like they've helped me. From caring for animals to designing video games, even laying cement, these teens are learning critical life skills. We're thrilled about making every student a success who walks through this door. Principal Martha Gincola hopes the new school will inspire students to stay in Florida long after they graduate. Right now, there are 43,000 job openings in Tampa Bay. Nearly 14,000 of them are high wage STEM jobs, more than anywhere else in the state. We have employers that call us and say, do you have a student that knows how to do Excel spreadsheets? We need to hire a part timer after school. Makes sense. Today, the new $13 million school opened with 300 students. By next fall, that number will double. In Seminole, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.